Dolly Pachada. She's an estate agent with Acquire Properties and joins me now from Burton in the UK. Fantastic to have you on the programme. Welcome to you. Um, Dolly, I woke up to a very shocking headline today that said the UK's biggest cities are deserted as only 17% of staff are returning to the office. What are you seeing as an estate agent? We've seen over the last few months, a lot of individuals have had the opportunity to sit back and think about life um, in general, where they've been running a rat race. And we've seen a huge influx of individuals inquiring about properties um, that are more based in countryside locations, rather than living in big cities, high rises, densely packed. Um, they are sort of readjusting work-life balance um, and seeking a better quality of life um, rather than being sort of living in apartments um, and they're embracing, um, you know, they're looking to embrace a better quality of life living in more rural areas. So we've seen a huge influx of individuals uh, um, now looking to rent, looking to buy, um, looking to sell their properties that are based in um, central London, for example, um, and they are looking to um, you know, have more quality time with family, less time commuting back and forth to their... And Dolly, as an estate agent, tell us, what is this doing to um, to property prices, you know, personal ones and also commercial prices? I think the, from the personal point of view, it's become a seller's um, market, sorry, a buyer's market as well. Um, it's sort of increased prices up slightly, um, for areas where there is green space, outdoor um, space. Um, we, are, we have seen a lot of individuals who have contacted us um, who are looking to do more home working um, and are happy to travel to city centre, um, sort of big cities from rural locations. That's very interesting indeed. And so how do you think we'll see our, our cities changing? I think we will probably see less people working in high densely populated cities because companies, larger corporate companies have embraced home working and they are happy for individuals to work from home. So I feel that it will kind of involve more new startup businesses in different locations um, where people can commute to bigger cities less frequently. Um, and people are more happy to um, use local, um, smaller businesses. So I sort of see possibly some new startups that are not big corporate companies, but smaller independent companies starting up. Dolly Bachara, thank you so much. Estate agent with Acquire Properties in the UK. Thank you for your time.